Good evening everybody and welcome to Eurogamer. My name's Ian Hickton and I am going to be playing DuckTales Remastered for you guys today so you can get a quick on an hour or so's early look at the game um, now that all the reviews have come out and, and wow what a what a weird polarizing game this has been. I've seen it get nines, I've seen it get fours. Um, Eurogamer gave it a six out of ten. Um, you can read the official Eurogamer review right there, Eurogamer.net. If you go to Eurogamer.net you'll see the review there. Uh, you can also, uh, while, while, you're, while you're fiddling around with your keyboards, you might as well follow me and Eurogamer on Twitter to get an update on all of our streams and videos. Anyway, um, I guess I'll just go straight into it and then do some shout-outs to everybody who's watching. Let me just get that there and load the DuckTales. So, uh, if you've been following me on Twitter as well, you might know that I've got some codes to give away. I've got three codes to give away. I've got one code for Steam, I've got one code for the PSN, and I've got one code for the Wii U. So, if you want a chance to get this game for free on one of those platforms, on your chosen platform, then basically get loading up um, and get to the redeem code bits and, uh, uh, you know... <coughs> Get ready to enter codes. I'll be I'll be giving away I don't know what one every half an hour or so. Um, I don't know which one I'll start with. I'll do them at random. Um, but yeah, this is Ducktales Remastered. It's developed by WayForward Technologies, published by Capcom. It's uh, out on the Xbox 360, the PS3, the PC, and the Wii U. The reason I'm not giving away an Xbox 360 code is because I used it to do this live stream. And uh, it's released today on Steam. It's released tomorrow. I think it's released tomorrow on PSN. Wednesday on the Wii U, and then it's not out on the Xbox until the 11th of September, crazily. So, uh, hello, here's me. Uh, I apologise in advance, you probably will now have this theme tune stuck in your head for the rest of the day. I've been, uh, I've been having, like, sleepless nights hearing the theme tune since I started playing it, so crazy. Right, who we got? Gavin Rollins, uh, Mr. UK Raider, uh, Donald Ruiz Jr., the Silver Universe, um, Raymond Yang, Gavin Rollins would love the Steam code, Dodosaurus is here, Cockney Charm is here, Iceman Garage says, ah, no more Eurogamer adverts, I can't take it anymore, I've seen it about a million times. Well, you're in luck, Eurogamer Expo is about a month away. You're, you, I'm going to be playing it until then to get everyone excited, because it's going to be awesome! Um, I have completed this game already. Uh, I've played it through on hard to get the, uh, the uh, achievement for hard. Um, once you've completed it, you get to play any level you want. Um, there is a tutorial level that is uh, pretty basic, so I'm not going to show you the tutorial level. Um, here's the, uh, the main hub one. As you can see, Old Scrooge McDuck, he's looking uh, lovely, like his animated cartoon form. Uh, in his office, you can jump into the money vault if you like. Have a little swim around. In reality, he'd be dead. He'd be completely broken diving into that gold. Uh, yeah. You can run in and you can dive into your money pit if you really want. This is quite a nice touch. Uh, there's also the ability to unlock loads of artwork and things. I've kind of got, I, I guess, about halfway through unlocking things. Um, it's basically sketches and background art and things. There's uh, sketches and then pencil renders and then you get to see the final or the final uh, pencil drawings look like when they become backgrounds. And uh, you can unlock music from the re uh, the the remastered version, and uh, also from the original version, which is pretty cool. Have a listen to that. I can put my headphones on, actually. Your hi, Zarara is here. She says, hi, in. Hello there. So that's uh, an old school uh, bit, bit of music. I haven't got down far enough to unlock the TV show art yet, which is annoying, because that's the ones I really want to unlock. Check out the TV show art. Uh, but I'm going to be playing through, earning me some more cash. 
So hopefully I'll be able to unlock some more stuff. Guru of Grunge has all the codes for platforms I don't have. Straight use, lol. Oh well, some speedy finger devil will probably uh, beat me to them anyway. Yeah, like I said, Wii U, Steam, and PSN. And the Wii U and the S PSN ones you'll be getting a couple of days before it is actually released. So you'll be getting it before other people. So make sure you have your Wii U turned on uh, to the redeem code bit or the PlayStation redeem code bit or the Steam uh, activate a product bit and just get ready to type them in. Uh, it's first come first served, it's probably the uh, the easiest and fairest way I can do it. I've always wanted to jump into that money vault, says Mr. Blue, well now you can! Marcel Neiman says, hey Ian, and uh, wow, that is one ear grinding tune, says uh, Gavin Rollins. And uh, Hannah Rose Few says, oh no, I'm going to be humming the tune for the rest of the week. It's true. So, the money bin is the tutorial level, when you first start the game, you go into the money bin, and that's the uh, the first one you play. Uh, it's an unskippable kind of tutorial level. I'm going to go into I don't know which one is uh, which one do I like best? Transylvania is a pretty good one. Uh, boink. So I was a big fan of this when it was on the NES. Pack your bags, boys. Um, we're off to Transylvania, all these and we're no coming back without that. I should coin say there's the a lot realm. of cutscenes. They employ kind of the original actors, voice actors for them, but. Uh, I'm going to start, probably I'm going to skip a lot of them because there are a lot of cutscenes. Turn the music down some. Uh, he says that, Drapas. Uh, MMC10H1 says, Hi Ian, hi MMC101. This is it kids, Draculesty Manor. Home of the That's legendary loud, Drake it? Von Vladstone, heir to the coin of the lost realm. Okay. I've turned the music down a little bit, I think, so uh, hopefully we're okay. So here you go, this is an example of the cutscene. Nice, it's like the animated cartoon, it's lovely. Um, basically, the original NES game threw Scrooge McDuck into some really weird situations, and using the cutscenes, uh, Capcom have kind of explained how things happen, like in the original game and in this one, you go to the moon, and in the original one, you just like, how is Scrooge McDuck breathing on the moon? Well, in this one, it shows you, it, it gets explained, basically. Um, but I'm going to skip the cinematics because they do go a little bit too long and they are very, they, they happen a lot as well, which is probably my only major niggle with this game. I, um, like I said, I'm a massive fan of the NES version and uh, I've seen a lot of people kind of in reviews complain that it plays too much like an old school game, but for me that was part of the charm of it being like the gameplay hasn't changed from how it was when it was old school, although it's a remastered, it's not reimagining, it's remastered, so it's basically the old game with a bit of spit and polish on making it look nice. Um, and if you were... If you are a fan of old school NES games, you had this one originally, then um, it's a great flashback to uh, gaming youth. So here you go, Scrooge McDuck anyway, he is uh, the uh, billion, eccentric billionaire and he's got a cane which you can pogo stick on and you can also use it as a bit of a golf club. Uh, MMC1 says, are you getting paid A2 Ian? Yes I am, I, uh, I'm getting it on Xbox 360. Uh, Silver Universe says, game looks nice, smiley face, Drazzy Drazan, I can never catch your streams anymore because of my working hours, it's sad, but you're here now, so you're kind of okay. I hate these skeleton ducks. So you get uh, weird treasures popping up out of nowhere, you kind of, um, you can unlock a lot of treasures just by randomly walking over a spot and then a, a jewel will appear, and there's also chests like that that appear. Uh, these mirrors, uh, I can't use it at the moment, but there are um, uh, teleporting mirrors in there. The really good thing about this game that I really liked in the NES days and stuff was it is a, an awesome platformer, but it wasn't linear. It's it's very non-linear. All the levels uh, you can kind of uh, explore a lot. You can get yeah a little bit lost. There's things to find. Lots of secrets. It's not just a move left to right Mario style platformer. It's very kind of ahead of its time for open world and stuff. Um, and none of the level design, as far as I know, except for the tutorial level, which has been complete it's completely new the tutorial level. Um, all of these levels are just proper the same as they were but just with nice graphics. 
Hey, and like the animation in this game so far, it's oh dear, got hit by a ghost already. Says Richard G two three four. Uh, up there in the top, where am I? That way. You can see that I've got five hearts. Uh, that you only start with three hearts, but because I've completed the game already, I've found some heart containers and unlocked them. Um, <coughs> and uh, I'm playing on hard. Hard is uh, oh god. Hard is the. It's like a recreation of the mess. Uh, difficulty basically. So if you get hit, you lose one heart. I think on normal, if you get hit, you have to get hit twice to lose one heart. On hard though, you lose one. When you lose one heart, you're dead. And uh, if you uh, lose all your lives, you are uh, you are out. You have to restart the whole game. There's no checkpoints. It's proper brutal mess difficulty. And you're going to be playing Saints Row 4, says your high Zarara. Um, possibly. Um, I'd need to uh, pick it up. I didn't get sent a review copy, so uh, I, I can't do anything until the game is out in the shops. Uh, unfortunately, so I won't be able to do anything early. But I'll definitely do some Saints Row 4 once it's done. This is uh, this is dark and scary, isn't it? So, uh, at the moment, my mission is to rescue Huey, Dewey and Louie and unlock a secret treasure in this spooky castle. Huey, Dewey and Louie have got kidnapped, basically, by the Beagle Brothers. Oh, no! Spikes. Oh, this bit gets me every time I pull. So you can pogo across the spikes, which is uh, useful. There we go, here's the first kind of mini boss. Hey, Father Scrooge, get me down from here. Oh, it's a ghost. So this guy's pretty easy to beat. Most of the bad guys, they're, you know, it's it's, it's normal NES tactics. You're not going to get advanced AI here. You're going to get learnable patterns. Uh, once, once you've a fought a boss a couple of times, down. you'll you'll Try quickly to my and easily and like work out how to but play. But it'll it. take more than just an old bed sheet and flower dust to frighten <laughs> off. <laughs> Guru Grinch says, "Hold on, people were complaining. This feels like an old game. Uh, I think they missed they missed the point of this remaster." Says Guru Grinch. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Uh, it's an ancient room. I thought you were we were playing Wonderful 101 today. Hmm. I no. had at least part of one. Not me, anyway. We'll worry about that later. Right now, I take it you won't be getting the one million dollar special edition of Saints Row 4 says XX666 XRB. I I asked I asked um, Deep Silver if I could do an unboxing on that version, and they said no. Don't know why. I could have quite happily unboxed a trip to space and made a video about it. But no, unfortunately not. Ah, ice cream cones give you a health boost. And there's a teleporty mirror thing, but oh my god, be a first. Get the extra bonuses. There's little secret areas everywhere, there's hidden walls and bases. Which of you guys watching played the original? Don't forget the moon level for the music, says Sergeant Wireless. Yeah, the moon level's music is incredible. Uh, it's, uh, the, the remakes of the music have actually uh, been done really well, especially the moon level's music. It's, uh, it's all very good. Very cool. Right. Up I go. Pretty sure that there is a little secret up here. The price seems a tad high. Did Scrooge McDuck set it? Says Team Alfie. Probably. Um, I'm, I can't remember the price. I think it's like in double figures, though, isn't it? Um, but it's quite high. Uh, it's if you like a bit of nostalgia, I guess it's it's an okay price. I'd probably set it a little bit lower though. Um, So I'm trying to collect lots of cash because I want to. Uh, I want to unlock the um, the achievement for uh, unlocking all the, uh, the the concept arts and things. Like I said, I'm a big fan of retro gaming. I had the uh, the original game on the NES, so I've been really enjoying playing this and uh, having a bit of a blast from the past. Ah, I didn't get my pay go out. 
Try again. Boink. Skills. I am just. I did. Uh, oh, nuts! <laughs> I did a preview of this game a little while back on uh, on Eurogamer, and I'd literally just kind of extra life, extra life. I just kind of turned the game on for the first time when I recorded the preview, and I. Uh, I underestimated how, how freaking hard this game can be, and I did really bad, but I've, uh, like I said, I've, I've been practicing now, I, I'm more confident, and I think I've got the controls now. Oh, no. Big bugs! It's 11.99, says XXX6RB. Yeah, that is quite expensive. Um, really. There's, um... Yeah, I, I think it probably would sell better if it was a bit cheaper, to be honest. But, you know... I, I do not have a say over these prices. Waka waka! So those spinny helmets beat me. Didn't play the original game, but I remember watching reruns of the TV show when I was a lot younger, says Guru of Grunge. Uh, I finally have a new PS3 500GB Super Slim in with The Last of Us. We'll, uh, we'll soon be playing with you on a live stream, hopefully. Oh yeah, hopefully, that'd be cool. Always good to have new people in the live streams. That was uh, Mr. UK Raider saying that one. Yeah, always, uh, always nice to have new people joining in the live streams. Definitely. You have to get practicing though, because I'm like awesome at the, uh, at the last of us might play. <coughs> oh no, that's right. Yeah. So I could have gone through that mirror, but I don't want to yet. These mummies are um, quite annoying, but you can dispatch them quite easily if you hit the uh, the ball and chain they're attached to. As long as they walk that way, and then you go, BOOM! There you go, he's out. he's out for the count! A good example of gems that kind of just appear out of nowhere. Double kill! And sometimes you can get that to land on his head. So I'm doing a lot better this time than the preview that I did. Watch this. Part of the spill matches the inscriptions on this mirror. Oh, if only I had all the pieces to this puzzle. Yes, Iceman Garage, that one million dollar um, Saints Row thing is real. There's only one. Um, I don't think anyone would be stupid enough to buy it, so they probably haven't. Like, they'll probably wait until someone actually like buys it before they give any, like, you know, get any of the stuff. Because uh, it's like two sports cars and a trip to the moon and there's even like a uh, trip to space even and there's even uh, plastic surgery in there as well so I think it's probably a bit of a gimmick I don't think anyone would okay so here is where the um, one of the heart extra like heart things is but uh, I've got it before so it's not there anymore old school gamers hum the background music says Cockney Charmer hope you guys are humming the background music You know what? I did. I did go the wrong way. Uh, I missed out of what? I missed out on one of the uh, the little little kids, uh, the little nephews. Uh, it's probably best to go back now. Actually. Oh, I'm still going to lose. So yeah, there's a lot of exploration in some of these levels. Some of them are a bit more linear than the others, but it's good that each different level has a different theme to it. And a different way of exploring. Is there no end to this and the minecart levels. Nearly lost my hat on that one. I'm raking in the cash now, nearly got me a million. Ping ping ping. There you go. Into the mills. 
I'm making up for how badly I played when I did the preview Let's Play. Don't die. Glory to our Stostka, says uh, Mr. Ego Raider. Oh god. Uh, hopefully the price doesn't send this away of the Darkstalkers Resurrection, uh, which from what I've heard basically killed the Darkstalker series. What well, did it not sell very well, I take it. Richard G. Uh, 234 says he loves the way the mummies unwrap when you kill them. Uh, I hope this. Do I for one hope this does really well because um, I like it. I think it's good. Um, you know, it's proper a nice shiny remake of an old school classic that I used to love. But the reason that I really want it to do well is because I want them to remake Chippendale Rescue Rangers and Donald Duck's Quack Shot as well. With those two, that I like those two even better than this one. Uh, hey, I'm just going from work. What's up? Says Andrew Graham. Not much. I'm just scrooge mcducking it, and I'm not doing too bad. You get a Lamborghini Gallardo ah, and a Toyota like Prius with the uh, Sanctuary for um, uh, one million dollar edition. Says XXX. Just one piece left to find. If only I knew uh, that grid to two hundred thousand uh, one never sold, so I doubt this will. Uh, yeah, I don't. maybe if it was Grand Theft Auto V, a million dollar thing might sell to like some crazy millionaire. But it's it's going to be funny, but it's a game where you beat people to death with dildos. It's, you know, no self-respecting millionaire is going to pay a million dollars. Not be ashamed of themselves. So yeah, I can't see that as anything more than a gimmick. But they'll probably like be really, uh, really like, like, uh oh, someone's bought it. Oh no! If I nearly lost my hat on that one. So that's the original Scrooge McDuck's voice. Uh, I don't mind him talking on these bits. He does kind of repeat his uh, phrases a little bit too much. Uh, it's just the... Come on, don't die. Yes. It's just the, um, the cutscenes. They, they're really nice and easy to skip, which is good. You can skip them really quickly because multiple playthroughs watching the cutscenes, if they're unskippable, you can kill them. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about Chippendale. I used to play that all the time. My friend says Donald Ruiz Jr. Yeah, me too. Me and my brother used to play it the most, and um, we used to get into fights over it because I, I used to um, I used to pick him up and throw him off the levels and kill him and stuff. La 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 la. That was weird. <coughs> I don't think that's supposed to happen. I thought it was a gimmick straight fake, but they actually give contact details to contact them with, so why do that if it's a fake gimmick? Oh, they'd sell it if it's there, but it's just a gimmick. No one's actually going to buy an ice cream garage. I'd be surprised if anyone buys it. Either. Which console are you playing this on? I'm playing it on the Xbox 360, my friend. Uh, Rett if, is it Rett if, oh God. Uh, who, oh, I bet I'm, I'll, I'll read the comments in a second. This, uh, this dude's uh, a bit tricky to... Oh god! Oh no. I do have five lives though, which is good. Uh, uh, they're real cars uh, in that. Uh, not in-game cars, Mr. Eco Raider. Darkstalkers Resurrection got really good reviews, but didn't sell anywhere enough to be a commercial success, says Guru Yeah, thank you, lad. Yeah? Well, you better be careful where you go poking around, McDuck. Or you's gonna have much bigger problems than me. So long! Mr. Higton, is there any reason why the Xbox version isn't out until September, says Gary Palmer. Um, I don't know. The only thing I can think of... Barring some kind of weird licensing issues, is that it's the Xbox Live Summer of Arcade at the moment, and um, Capcom don't want this game to be overshadowed by the, uh, the Xbox Live Summer of Arcade uh, promotions. That's the all I can think of. Um, which seems like it, that might be quite a sensible thing. Which is uh, not 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 that often that I have sensible ideas. But I think I think that's this is weekly. Woo! Gems. 
Okay, so I have got all the bits and pieces I need to now get through the magical mirror and um, fight what I consider to be the hardest boss in this game. And I'm going the wrong way. You see what I mean about the non-linear levels, though, and the exploration. Um, it's too quick. Um, it is a very cool. Because it's pretty much one of the best platformers on the NES, hands down. Jules. So if you, what you don't want to do is go into this game expecting modern day gameplay mechanics. This is a, it's a, it's an old school 8-bit game with the shiny paint job. I've just gone through the wrong... I hope I can go back. Yes. That would have been annoying. Is this out yet? It says Rat Fly. It's out on Steam. Uh, it's out on the PSN tomorrow and the Wii U the day after. What time is it? It's half past. I should really give away a code before I fight this boss. Okay, so I'm going to pick one at random. Um, so are you ready, people who want a copy of this game? Let's go for this one. Okay, this is the PSN code. Uh, I've left a question mark in there. Uh, I'm going to give people about 30 seconds or so to enter that, and then I'm going to um, say a, uh, a, a, a tell them a little hint as to what that letter is. Magic at the spell. And some of our caves rubbish. The only game that's worth checking out, this. just because it's different oh, and inventive, oh, is Brothers. Says Gary, Gary DeCarmo. I love Brothers. I thought it was great. Uh, I see. Ah, I see. This game is awesome. I definitely want Duck Shot um, and Desert Strike from the Mega Drive. Uh, did you ever play Donald Duck Quack Attack? It came out in 2000. Played it on Dreamcast and would love to see it get remade. Although it's extremely unlikely. I don't think I did. No. Okay. So the uh, the question mark is. It's the first Save letter the in the noise that party. ducks make. What garden party? That's not very hard, really, is it? The noise ducks make is the, the first boys. letter, and it goes Shalom right where that question mark is. Let me know if you've won the code. It's a PSN code for a free version of this game. It's not even out on the PSN yet, so you're getting it before anybody else. DuckTales Remastered is £10.59 on the uh, PSN, says Mr. And give her a piece of my mind. Watching from my phone while I wait for the train, that's how much I like these streams, says Drazzy Drazan. Awesome. Uh, I appreciate your dedication, sir. Do, 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 do. Hopefully someone's won the code. Let me know if you won the code or if it's uh, not coming through. Oh, I hate this bit. I probably will lose a life here. Doing all right. Screw you, ghosty! Ah, oh, damn it! Those ghosts! Oh, I missed it. I missed Darkwing Duck. Uh, it says, uh, Mr. Blue. The game I went from the Summer Arcade is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. Are you going to do anything on that, Ian? If I get a code early enough, yes. Although I am going to be at Gamescom, so I'm not sure whether um, uh, that will happen. It will come out before Gamescom or not. Right, I, someone must have claimed that code by now. So let's get rid of that. Let me know if you claimed it. Free version of that game. Who won it? Who won it? Who won it? Was it you? Tell me, did you win it? Can't wait to play this with my daughter. Uh, this, hopefully, my daughter will appreciate it too. Uh, this pre prepaid card has already been spent. Says uh, X. someone got it. Do do do. So it looks like someone's won it. 
done, missed it. No, it says Mr. UK Raider. Okay, so we still have a Steam code and a Wii U code. So make sure you're standing by to do them um, because they will be coming up in a little bit. Let's resume game. I'm not going to be able to kill this uh, uh, bad guy with only one heart left because she's crazy hard. Uh oh. It's going to get me right now. Oh. Always with the mirrors. Let's try again. <coughs> yeah, this boss is uh, really tough, actually. Definitely the toughest in the game. That's why I like to do this one first. Just get the top one out of the way. There you go. If you can get the mirror she's in straight away, then there's no problem. But otherwise, it's just really hard not to get hit. Take that third brain. <laughs> oh, my. Ooh, lucky. It takes an incredible amount of hits compared to it. Well, I'm not going to read any comments for a second, just because, um... Ow! As you can see, it's getting real down here. Uh, 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 uh. Didn't hit, score hit, but... Crack the mirrors anyway. Gotcha! Lucky. You are you, oh, you, oh, there was no way. No way I was going past that. See, look, it's insane. So I pulled my hair out a couple of times trying to defeat this uh, crazy vampires lady. Magica, she's called. Come on. I think she's nearly dead now. Whoa! I knew I'd get hit by one of them. There we go. I've got it. Got it. Thank you, Ian. Gavin Rollins got it. Well done, Gavin Rollins. Nice to see a regular viewer uh, grabbing the code. Hurrah! Uh, Raz UK wants the Wii U code. Uh, where do you have to put the code on Steam, says Patrick Hajar. There's a bottom left of Steam. There's a little button that says activate product on Steam, I do believe. Uh, I will go to Gamescom for you and you can stay and do the giveaways, says Cockney Charmer. He was very good playing this game, says Patrick Hajar. I I've been, I've been practicing. This game is pretty hard. Um, it takes a little while to get used to it, that's for sure. Learning all the patterns and stuff. Don't worry, anyone who's missed out on the code. Well, unless you're uh, unless you're playing on the PSN, and then you should probably worry because uh, there's no more PSN codes. I've got a Steam and a Wii U eShop code left though. I'll do um, Steam code, or the, I'll do one code like in another like about six, and then the other code at the end of the stream. So one every half an hour. Works out. Works out. Uh, and uh, that is Transylvania done. Hi all. I am just ripping through this game. I made that look easy. It's not easy. I should have restarted it on extreme difficulty, actually. <coughs> I got a lot of cash there, so I'm gonna go. And, I'm gonna go and unlock some uh, unlockables. About three million dollars to spend. Seems like a lot of money, but the uh, the, the unlockables are a lot of cash. Let's go and unlock some stuff. Bye, and I'm going to make dinner now. Says Dodosaurus. Uh, see you later, dude. Wow, how many hits does she take as XX666RB? A lot. But I've, I've done enough. I, I should... Have I unlocked all of them? I should really unlock all the... Get my OCD out of the way. And unlock all these ones. I don't care about the pencil drawings. I just want to see the TVR. I hope I can unlock some TVR. Uh, these ones, they cost so much. It's nearly all my... Nearly all my uh, cash gone already. Cash for good! Pencil renders. Well, I don't care about the pencil renders. Anything else on it? Oh, I nearly bought all of these. Wow. 
Why is that so expensive? They're randomly priced as well. I don't know why they're so, like, crazily priced. Uh, but that's, like, pretty much... All, all of my money from that level gone now. I've still got most of pencil renders to unlock. And most of music to unlock. Uh, at some point these will open up. There's definitely a massive spike in difficulty even compared to the first two, says Guru Grunge. Um, do, do, do. Iceman Garage. Be careful you buy games from. I bought SimCity from Simply Games and woke up to find my game disabled and an email from the Origin Fraud Management team, says Iceman Garage. Well, that's unlucky, dude. You got it sorted, though, I think. Uh, what should I play next? Do, do, do. You can go and buy that Saints Row edition now, says Gavin Rollins. Of course, Gavin, with my Scrooge McGut money. Uh, do, do, do. I did hear about the Inception plot before uh, Nolan not, uh, being tied into uh, DuckTales, which is a bit weird. Wait, my bl PC blue screened. Was that the Steam code? Says PowerBlock96. No, that wasn't the Steam code. You're okay. You are okay. Uh, I'll just I'll do I'll do the Amazon, I guess. I just yeah. Meh. Yeah. Let's do the Amazon. Let's go for it. Amazon. Get launchpad on the horn. I'm headed to the Amazon jungle. jungle. To find the scepter of the Incan King. Incan King. Do, 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 do. How you guys all doing today, anyway? You all good? You looking forward to the week ahead? Is it payday comes out this week, isn't it? Friday? I think we get a lot of games out this week. I think. Isn't Saints Row, Saints Row Thanks payday? For the lunch, no problem. Well. Lift is no. one of my favorite. Mm. Lots of lots principles. of. Basically, the summer droughts ended. African mines. Someone asked for. Shall I do African mines then? Mr. Uko Raider asked for African mines, so let's do that. Mm. African mines. Find Gyro. Our next stop's Africa and the center of the earth. What treasure do you think? Okay, okay. African mines it is. <coughs> I'm skipping the cutscenes because they're a bit too long. I just want to get some pogo stick in action, you know what I'm saying. I like the little loading things, they have the little sprites from some of the bad guys. Hi lads, this is the place. Hi lads. Oh, I can feel Got to go by and says MMC 101. <laughs> See you there. UK says play the moon stage please. I'll probably have time to play the moon stage as well. Uh, I should do the moon stage last. Just because the music is awesome. Let's skip the uh, cinematic. <clears throat> Creepy underground slugs. Oh, the bats are a nightmare. I do like these uh, appearing chests. Get me some swag. Uh, so they've just said get a key to activate the. Uh, that mode. I shall do. Oh no! Well, I got hit and then instantly lost the health that I just earned. Boo. Ah. Not a great start, Mr. Oh my god! Getting absolutely nailed. Don't worry, viewers. I shall bring it back around again. Okay. Hooray, I got a key. So, just like the NES version, the bad guys reappear as, as soon as you go a tiny bit away from them. I'm tough enough to be able to dodge them. Go back to work for three days and have five days off. Five days of payday two. Says Gary Dukama. I'm waiting for payday two to come out this week. Says Richard G two three four. I can't wait till the thirtieth. One Piece Pirate Warriors two is coming out. As is Killer is Dead. Says Jamie Pope. I'm. S uh, I'm glad so many games coming out. Thursday's my birthday. Says that hairy thing. 
<laughs> the summer drought of new, no, no new games in football is over, finally, says Mr. UK Raider. Guru Grunge is looking forward to getting himself a copy of Payday 2, the weight is killing him. Mostly because someone on my friend's list already has it, lucky bugger. Ha 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 ha! I wonder who that is. Um, I'm looking forward to the week ahead. It would be better if we uh, even better if we are getting exclusives to the West Man Garage. Don't think there's any exclusives, are there? Ooh, hidden bit. I'm like a money magnet. Yourself a uh, bit of hidden treasure there. Nice. We get to meet another uh, character from the cartoon in a second. Always a pleasure to see Mrs. Beakley. Why are you here, Mrs. Beakley? The centre of the earth is quite toasty, Mr. McDuck. Quite toasty. So basically, she comes along and she drops off some health and uh, one up every time, which is very cool. This is a bit nerve-wracking. Yeah, it did. Lovely! Yeah, I'm just scoring loads of swag. Woohoo! Scrooge McDuck loves the swag. Go Duck! Looking forward to Friday, Final Fantasy uh, 14 Realm Reborn Open Beta. Wow, that is one hell of a long name, Drazzy Drazan. Uh, the week after next is going to be very good. Blacklist, Saints Row, and XCOM Declassified. Boom! Oh, sh sugar! Oh, wrong time to read the comments there. Right underneath, a one-hit kill boulder. Poo. That's one of my uh, six lives gone. Ah, oh, can't play on the flowers either. Oh, that's a cool bit of animation, getting out of those plants now. He stabs him with his uh, cane. Some invisible jewels. I hope I can get Payday, uh, Payday 2 and play with you one day, says uh, MMC101. I'll be doing some community streams of Payday 2, seeing if we can see if we can be like get some successful robberies on the go. Should be pretty good fun, I think. Oh yeah, swagalicious. Ooh. Got me some health back. <clears throat> oh, ooh, it's one hit kill boulder time. So a lot of this. I had to do a lot of these levels multiple times before I learned where everything was. Um, it, 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 you know, there's a lot of muscle memory involved in these levels. I remember when I played it when I was a kid, like doing the whole like doing the whole thing in one go and stuff. It was crazy days. I don't know if I'd, I'd have the patience to. Do. Oh, well, this bit gets me a bit too There's some tricky platforming in this game. A show. Eee. Oh, no. oh, man, that scared me. Thought I was going to end up in the drink. Here we go. There's a cool up there. I am I am doing skillfully here. some more comments in a second. Uh, the only reason I'm not reading comments at the moment is because this bit... I died a lot of times on the game across that bit. Just because you fall in the water and it's, you know, game over me and game over. Uh, I'm hoping to win a Steam code. It will give me something to play this weekend and add to my Steam collection. It says, uh, oh no, uh, falling bowler thing. But, uh, Mr. Iceman Gary. Greed! Oh! I was too greedy. I 
Scrooge ducked myself over there. Lol. Still, still quite, uh, quite nicely in it. Doing alright in the lives. Look forward to Eurogamer Expo 2013 and getting to play Lego Marvel there. Hope I can see you there, Ian, if you're there on a Sunday. Buttons Vids, I am there all weekend, so hopefully I get to say hello to as many of you guys as possible. Uh, it'd be nice to say hello to you guys in person. Shake your hands and say thanks for watching the show and being subscribers. I'll be around. There'll be times when I, I'm going to have to do lots of filming and, and work while I'm there, lots of interviewing developers and stuff, but uh, I'll find I'll find the time to do a walk around and play some games and chat to you guys for sure. Oh, that was close. Bad in, not bad. Ian, how do I get a job like yours? I think it would be great and I'd love it. Uh, well, it took me a long time to get this job. Uh, study media. Uh, well, that's what I did. Um, I got a job in TV first. Well, what in the world do you support? And then I got though? quite lucky. If I was you, um, start a YouTube channel. Um, keep at it and make as many videos as you can to practice. Boys. And uh, the majority of people who start YouTube channels will get bored and stop after about five months. Uh, if you can carry on going, it took me um, a year to get over a thousand subscribers on my uh, my hobby YouTube channel. It wasn't until I got over a thousand that things started speeding up. But um, I, I know a lot of people who started YouTube channels and gave up because uh, it just wasn't. You know, they, they weren't like instantly. Um, Famous like pro syndicate and stuff. That just doesn't happen. Um, you gotta you gotta work and uh, be patient and ex well, we expect it to take a few years. Pretty ironic if you die by falling into water being a dark horse as Gary DeCarma. I didn't think about it like that, but yes, that is very ironic. Hmm. Capcom. Rayman Legends is another one that comes out this month. Don't think anyone mentioned it yet, says Guru Grudge. Rayman Legends is fantastic. Love it. Really cool. I love the original as well. Um, yeah, it's fantastic, Rayman Legends. Ian, have you had any, had any news on when Spelunky will be released on the Vita? I haven't, but uh, I can't wait. Spelunky's awesome. Uh, you guys, if you... Whoa! No, 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 no! If you guys are regular su subscribers, you might notice the Tom Bramwell's Spelunky Daily Challenge videos that he's been, uh, he's been doing. Uh, if you haven't seen them, you should check them out, they're awesome. Uh, he's been doing the Spelunky Daily Challenge and like, you know, just commentating and stuff, and they're really cool. Uh, and Spelunky is uh, awesome. Um, and it would just fit so well on the Vita, I can't wait. God, I remember the original game uh, and TV series, my Maya Mod says Fuzzage one. Me too! I, uh, I, uh, I played the original when it was first out, and uh, I used to watch the TV series all the time, you loved it. So, uh, yeah. I was very excited when I heard that this game was coming. Please do a live stream of Rayman Legends, says Gary DeCamp. I already have done a live stream of uh, Rayman Legends. I did a live stream of Rayman Legends, like, literally about, um, uh, a month ago. I got it really, really early. Oh, no, I want to go back up again. There's some stuff there. Uh, so if you look through my previous videos, you'll see uh, a Rayman Legends live stream, Gary DeCamp. I rediscovered the awesomeness of the dishwasher vampire smile and getting my ass kicked by Salva and Yuki, says Jamie Popo with a sad face. I'm rebooting my YouTube channel with better stuff and editors. Love doing it. Cheers for the advice, Ian says Buttons Vids. No worries. Um, yeah, it's not oh, yeah. not very often in this, uh, this world that um, you get things for free and things come easy. In my experience, you have to work 
hard and uh, not give up in the face of complete and utter annoyance. Some people get stuck before you can say just lucky. People like us, we have to work for things. But then it makes makes it more worthwhile when you actually do it. <laughs> boing boing! You're very right, Ian. Everyone wants to have the best job and earn lots of money instantly, but it doesn't work like that. It took me three years and four college courses and hard work to get my own business as Iceman Garage. Yeah, it's true. Uh, you have to work hard. This is the boss of this level. What's Weird, like, bl deflated balloon things. things. As the king of the Terraformians, I forbid He's anyone to interfere with the great games. Great games? Great games? I do you remember the old Mega Drive games, Quack Shots, the old Mr. Says, uh, Fuzzage one? Yes, I was talking about that earlier. I was saying that I want Capcom to remake Quack Shot, and I want them to remake um, Chip and Dale uh, Rescue Rangers as well. We were doing a Castle of Illusions live stream, or have, you, have you already done that as well? Ha ha, says uh, Gary De Karma. Uh, has Castle of Illusions been remade? Is it? Uh, it has, hasn't it? I can't remember. Um, if it's out or if it's not out or what. Oh god! I have a feeling this guy took me a couple of tries to kill as well. Ow. Okay, falling rocks. I can do this. I'm pretty sure this guy is a bit easier. Well, like takes a lot less hits than uh, the crazy vampire one. You won't beat me. Well, standard. Oh, ooh, that was lucky. I hate the bouncing balls. Bouncing balls. Oh, they just absolutely wipe me out. There's no real good way to judge. Okay. Well, that's cool, I got him. He's, he's dead, that's it, I got that guy. Did you see GameSpot's review of this game? It was a horrendous review, says um, uh, someone there. Manzo Man 96. I did, I don't agree with that review at all. Um, he reviewed it like it was supposed to be a new game. It's not, it's a remaster. It's an old game that they've just put a shine on. Should have reviewed it as an old nostalgic game, not reviewed it up against other games. Oh, you know, this game you is not a reimagining, run. it's a remaster. No use for People are going to buy this game because they rem remember the original and want to play the original again. Uh, not say. if they want a new platform, mm. they can buy uh, Rayman Origins. Uh, tell you, what, you know uh, what I'm saying. Do your and haul away Shinzo Moon, Ian, did you watch the Ashens movie? Rocks. What do you think? Pretty Larry charged. needed to be in it more, but Darren was great as Chef minimum. Excellence. Uh, I did watch it, I loved it. Um, uh, and uh, yes, Larry was very good. Uh, Guru Larry, uh, a YouTube, fellow YouTuber, he uh, was uh, a, a psychiatric patient. Uh, yeah, it was very cool. Um, a very good movie made uh, through crowdsourcing and stuff. It was very, very, very cool. My only, my only regret is they didn't ask me to be an extra. Boo. Uh, Mr. Mike says, hey guys, hey Mr. Mikes. Uh, the Guru Grunge says, the Terra Firma King sounds exactly like Droopy. He does. I'm confused by PlayStation Home, Ian. Help. What's confusing you about PlayStation Home? Uh, my mum picks the worst time to call me for dinner, says Buttons Bids. It's okay. Uh, this uh, live stream will uh, be made into video on demand, so you'll be able to watch it again once it's uh, once it's uh, once the stream is finished. It will be re-uploaded, and then you guys can watch it back as many times as you want. Uh, I've done another level, so it's time for another stream. I could, if I sat here for and did a live stream for two and a half hours, I'd probably complete the whole game. I'm not going to though. Uh, I got four million that time, so let's go and unlock some stuff before I do it. Actually, I'll, I'll unlock some stuff while you guys are working out the code. 
That's so the next code is... is... I told you, boys, there's a rational explanation for everything. Oh. Yeah, a whole kingdom of underground... Okay, it's the steam code. Uh, the steam code. I'll give you a couple of seconds to enter that, and then I will give you a little clue as to what the question mark is. The point is, so, uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll do that in a second. But if you want to be in a chance of winning it, you have to go to the Steam store and go to the um, activate a product bit. Enter that code in, and then stand by to put in the relevant letter where that question mark should be. Let's go and buy some stuff, Ian. Why can I only see a black screen, says Mr. Mikes. I don't know. Are you watching on the phone? Sometimes they don't work on phones. If you're not, then I have no idea. Uh, background paintings. Let's finish off background paintings. Really not bothered about pencil renders. I should unlock them. Let's do the music bits. Let's get the moon music. Where's the moon music? This is everyone's favourite theme tune in an, in an old school NES game. No, that's the boss. <laughs> is it this one? No. I'm wasting all the money. This looks like it. Yeah. Sounds good. These, oh, my money's run out already. Crikey. They're expensive. Oh, I've opened TV show art there. TV show art one. Oh, they're all really expensive. Oh, it's like original cell animations. Oh, no, I spent all my money. Oh, awesome. Like proper, like, cell animations from the cartoon. That's so cool. I don't can't afford any Well, we're going to play the moon level now, anyway. Uh, right, anyway. P uh, I got it, says, uh, someone got it already? Um, I'm not sure if he actually got it or not, but the uh, the question mark is a uh, it is um, Scrooge McWatt, and then it's the first letter, Scrooge McWatt. Maybe uh, XXX666RB just went through the whole alphabet, which uh, is probably uh, quite doable. He would have had to do it like 36 times, I guess, because 26 letters and then. Uh, Turn. Did you really get it, XXX666XXRB? If you did, well done. That's some great detective work. Um, sorry to everyone else who missed out. But it is Scrooge McWatt. And then it's the first letter that goes there. I'm installing it right now, says uh, XXX6RB. Looks like he's done it. During the time he's taken to give us the clue, someone could have already worked out, says Mr. Blue. Yep, someone did. Sorry, Mr. Blue. Sorry, Mr. XXX66RB has done it. So uh, apologies for that. I forgot that it would have been quite simple for people to work out. Uh, the next code that I've got to give away is for the Wii U. So if you like the Wii U, if you are one of the three people in the UK to own a Wii U, then uh, get that ready because uh, there's more chance of you being able to win the Wii U one because there's it's less people probably have a Wii U. The moon, lads. <coughs> but the green cheese of longevity will make it worth the trip. <laughs> Here we go, it's the moon level. Someone wanted to see the moon level, so we're going to see the moon level. Got about half an hour left on this live stream. There's a little jelly octopusy thing. Look at this. I'm going to skip the cutscene. Uh, if you guys want to see the cutscenes, then you can buy the game. So, obviously, um, flying squids and robo ducks are the only standard. I'm just going to town on these guys with my cane. Like the same space. <laughs> D was my first guess. Uh, it says XX66XRB. So it's duplicate well, for me, says Donald <laughs> Brewers Jr. Uh, so yeah, XXX66RB got it, I'm afraid. Um, 
Steve Sco says, how are you? How much have you missed, Ian? You've missed about an hour. You've missed me play two levels of the game. I'm on the uh, I'm on the third level that I'm going to be playing. Will Wii U code only work for the UK? Good question. Uh, that is a very good question. I'm going to say, I don't know. You can try it. Um, I know that the PlayStation codes are often... Um, uh, regional regional locked but I don't know about the Wii U codes uh, I'm afraid so you're just gonna have to give it a try and uh, and see damn lol got it I got it too but he must have got there just before me says Shinzo Moon already activated yeah and it went already sorry guys <coughs> okay right Get inside this crazy spaceship. Home run! Home run. Ah, I failed to deploy <laughs> my cane in time. I thought that would be something nice now. Let's try and. Going down that ladder will take me back out of the spaceship. Oh, Big squishy alien heads. Spikes do not stand a chance against my payload power. Ow! Or, well, obviously, they did. Oh. Getting beaten down now. Only two, two hearts left. I was getting cocky. Uh, sorry I'm late, I had a bit of cleaning up today. Now I get to enjoy your live streams with Steve's going. Sweet! You probably have a pretty high chance to snatch the Wii U code. Not that I'm saying hardly anyone owns a Wii U or anything, says Gavin Rollins. No, I'm pre I think I said that. <laughs> Um, Ian, do you know why Steam games unlock at 6pm UK time? I have no idea. I think it's probably... Uh, something to do with... Blast what is it? Eight hours behind maybe it unlocks a piece of at a duck certain suit. time in the US oh, and it's just the 8 hours or whatever. Not really sure. Not really sure. So I need to get through that force field. Here's my duck's helmet. Leave my helmet alone. Fenton, get down from there and stop embarrassing yourself. Mr. McDuck! Thank goodness you're here! I think those aliens wanted to suck out my brain and make an army of Fenton clones! Bah, bah. Suck out soon his learn that one of you is one too many. Now, help me find a security override so we can get to your gizmo duck suit. You mean this? Security system so this game, you can actually, once Fenton, you learn you're it, a genius. Uh, you can actually fly Gee, through McDuck, it quite quickly. Do um, you mean it? I'm playing it on the uh, on the hard mode. Warning. Damage report. And when I first Artificial started playing it, I was dying all the time. Then I mean, you just look at my preview and you can see how um, much I was dying. But once I'd learned, once I'd learned my skills uh, and uh, my co-going skills, learned the levels a bit, um, you can actually um, get quite good at it. I'd be surprised if there wasn't some kind of cool speed for this game. I need to go and switch these switches to turn the gravity back on again. Swimming. You can swim through the air, but you can't swim through water. Gravity system restored. All systems normal. Nice work, Mr. McDuck. Now, let's go get my Gizmo Duck suit. Gizmo Duck. Not so fast, Dunderhead. You go wait with Gyro. I'll find a Gizmo Duck suit myself. Right. So, I know where his helmet is. Here. 
Where's Gizmo Duck's helmet? Oh, if I didn't know better, I'm I so happy they have an option to have the original 8-bit track as Zaxxon 85. Uh, maybe I'm a wee bit too hard on the line. No. Only two more Ian, are you going to buy a copy of Papers, Please, and say you are being hunted? I've already bought a copy of uh, Papers, Please. I did a live stream of it um, Friday. Um, so you should definitely check out the um, that live stream if you missed it. And uh, yes, so you are being hunted. Very excited to say you are being hunted. It looks cool as... It gives Eurogamer's Game of the Show at rest as well. Oh! Wipe out! It's okay. Still got lives. Phantom says Raz UK. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that video is amazing. I have a Wii U and I love it. I've been playing Pikmin 3 and it's a brilliant game. Yeah, Pikmin 3 is great on the Wii U. It's, uh, there's nothing too much on there that really holds my attention though. I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Who builds a spaceship and then just puts loads of rocks on it? Mess Massy aliens. Robo Ducks. Ooh. Oh, nuts. There's a secret. I wonder if I can get that down. Is that going to reset it? Yeah. There you go. Standard secret. Gems. Plenty. the Wii U code yet, says Connor 2000 and W. No, not yet. I'll be doing that at the end of the live stream in about... you got about 20 minutes to wait until the Wii U code giveaway. My lovers. Woo! One up. Like I found Gizmo Duck's armored suit. Ah, it's comments not updating, Mr. Mike's got this hyperspace uh, pocket for well, me to carry things me. around in. Now, just one more part to find, and I can get off this flying monstrosity. In your old Eurogamer live streams, before fight, uh, uh, oh, you did your old Eurogamer live streams because work finished at five, but the streams, uh, have been starting at 5 pm. Do you have to work later now? Uh, yeah, kind of, um, it's part, well, it's all my fault, really. I don't get paid any extra. <laughs> I, just, I just work longer. Because it's, it, more people watch. So I do it out of the goodness of my heart for you guys. Everyone else in my office has gone home, they're all eating their dinner now. <laughs> I caught both of those, don't worry, Mr. UK. Okay. Just playing through the PSN version, and I agree, there are way too many cutscenes, says Gavin Rollins. Gavin Rollins won the PS, uh, PSN version. Well done, Gavin Rollins. You've uh, got that a couple of days before before everyone else. Oh, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's why um, I've, I've, I've seen the cutscenes so many times as well, because I've played it through quite a bit. 
Skip. Skipping the cutscenes. Uh -huh. Get a look at the size of this diamond. It's mine. I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna skip. Quick. Um. I got him, but failed. Like not getting hurt. <laughs> I love Eurogamers, it's Steve Scott. Awesome! Oh, I'm nice. I'm not going to I don't know that was um, You guys... Uh, hopefully a load of you guys are coming to the Eurogamer Expo. So much cool stuff going on at Eurogamer Expo. Right. Look at that luster. Look at that luster. Nice man, Garage. Don't worry about it, dude. I type really fast and miss up words as well. I have no idea which way to go. I've got one, one healthy blob. See there's some jewels down here. Hey, Mrs. Beakley, she's gonna give me some free Mr. munch. Beakley. Now, where did you come from? Why, from home, of course. I had to be sure you were all right in this food. That's the second Mrs. Beakley. Give me my free stuff. Yeah. I'm playing so much better than I have ever done in this game. Crazy. Normally I play really bad on the For some reason, the duck gods are with me. Up we go. Oh. <laughs> danger, danger. High voltage. Well, scary. Yay! Gets more ducks, ducks wheel. wheel. I've always wondered what Gyro was thinking when he designed this thing. Who fights crime with a unicycle? Now that I've got all three parts, I can head back to Fenton and Gyro. Oh, I hope it's not too late. So I'm gonna try and jump off and see if I don't die. All right, that was a bad idea then. <laughs> I was hoping that I'd end up at the bottom of the ship. Because you have to go all the way through the ship now to get back to the bottom. I was hoping for a shortcut. I was like, whoa! It was not meant to be. That would have been embarrassing if that hadn't been my last life. Will you get your uh, game at Expo this year, says Steve Scott. Yes, I will. Connor 2000 and W says he wants the Wii U code. Oh, well, there's a good chance you could get it. I'll be giving it away in about 15 minutes. That's German for 15 minutes. That's not actually good. That'd be from the same move. Flying robot world. Robot world. Ah, I escaped to you. So here's Fenton Fenton! All of Gizmo Duck suit. <laughs> oh boy! Now it's going to be cinematic. Let's keep going. I'm going to try and complete this level before the, uh, before the live stream time is up. So I've got Gizmo Duck yeah. helping me now.
Oh no! Oh, stupid. Knock back. Ow, ow, ow! Where's. Where's the kiss made up now? Gizmo, Gizmo, I think it could be a. Uh... Oh, oh, there he is. I thought for a second that I had the actual game. Because you need Gizmo, though, to be able to get past the net. No! Oh, so close. Gizmo Duck had not much use. This is, um, his drunken rockets are just too. Random. <laughs> She's gonna hit before you get to the bad This is the place. Are you looking forward to GTA 5 in this positive one? Of course I am. Miss GK Radio, she's like Mrs. Dora from Father Toad, always make sure you're okay, just like tea cake and biscuits. But she gives you cupcakes and um, uh, extra lives, which is pretty cool. We're talking about this. Poo poo. How was that, Mr. Mc. I mean, the path is clear! The path is clear! Oh, oh no. I can't upward. remember if there's any. Always, always going to check the corners. There we go. Bucks. <coughs> Take this, Google boys. section below, my lovely people watching. Uh, has this uh, stream convinced you to buy the game, or has it convinced you that maybe it's not living up to your memories, or what? Let me know, what, what do you guys think of the game? Like I said, I'm, uh, I like it. I think it's good. I've enjoyed playing it. There has been a lot of moments when I've wanted to punch the screen in half as I learnt the levels and stuff. And the, uh, the punishing NES-style difficulty can at times be incredibly frustrating, but uh, in general, I think it's good. What about you guys? I want to know your opinions. What console are you playing this on, Sir Steve Scott? I am playing this on the Xbox 360, my friend. Anything you're specifically looking forward to this year's Eurogamer Expo, says uh, Tomity101. Yes, playing it on the PS4 and in particular um, uh, Battlefield 4. That's the one I'm really looking forward to. Keith2800 says, Wii U code! It's coming. Still got 10 minutes before the Wii U code drop. Did it, did it, I just hear right through that level. Okay, here's the boss of the but moon base. I made it here first. Do you know the guy no, who does the voice the of Scrooge is currently Anything 93? Yeah, he is. It's crazy, isn't it? He's still, he's still in the voice, okay? He's still... He still sounds like a sprightly Scott, Scrooge McDuck. It's good, it brings back my childhood again with all the stress. Lol, says Fuzzy Uh Yep, I'll definitely be buying this. It's awesome, says Iceman Garage. Richard G234, I'll be picking it up. I really like what I see. Uh, cool. That's good. That's 100% uh, positive so far. Normally we get some people who don't seem too keen. I didn't get to be number one by back and doing Oh, nice. Back in Doom! This guy, this guy took me out a couple of times. But he is kind of, once you can learn his, his patterns, he is quite, um, it's quite simple. Again, nowhere near as hard as the, uh, the magic of him who um, just destroyed 
And the last level, that I'm not going to show you, there's one level that you unlock once you've completed all of the levels, you unlock um, the final level, and that's just nightmarishly hard. So. I forgot to get my pogo out. I didn't even get to be number one by back and boom. You must be nearly dead. You must be nearly dead now. Oh no, this isn't good. Yes, got him. Woo! Hey, Ian just joined. How long left is Chelsea 90362? Nine minutes, if that. Giant woman. Uh, Dodi Saw says it's cool, but not twelve pounds worth of cool. Uh, Raz UK. It looks a lot better than I thought it would. I'll pick it up. Hopefully, I'll finish it this time. Uh, that's, I finished it when I was younger, and I was like, I have to finish it again. I must be able to do what I could do when I was twelve. Um, Ian, have you ever played or planned to play Deadly Premonition? It's easily one of the best games ever, says Richard G234. Uh, yeah, I had it on the Xbox years ago. I never got around to completing it, though. Um, I might re-buy re it for the PlayStation 3, the director's cut, to get a little bit more uh, stuff. Looks okay, but not 15 euros okay. I'll wait for a sale, says 20 Crowbacks. Uh, I'm thinking about going to play Quackshot on my Mega Drive now. Lol, great stream as always, Ian, says uh, Fuzzage1. Uh, Quackaroonie, says Mano VU. So much money, says Mr. UK Raider. Um, yeah, Quackshot, awesome. Hey Capcom, if you're watching this, remake Quackshot, remake Chippendale, please. Thank you. Okay, so I've got four million now. I'm going to go and buy some more stuff. Uh, while I'm doing that, I guess I'll put up the last co code. Now, the last code, right? Um, I haven't put any question marks in because I'm not sure. Um, I was given the codes and I like, had written and I'm not sure that I completely got it right when I um, wrote it, when I put it on here. So, what I'll do is I'll point out what I think may or may not be right. And it might be completely right code. So here you go. This could be completely the right code. Uh, where's my mouse? Here it is. So, that one there, if you can see my mouse, that could be a zero. But I put an O, but it could be a zero. And this one here... I think that's an I, but it could possibly be a 1. I don't know. But I, I'm pretty sure all the rest of the letters are correct. But that could be as if If you type that in identical and it doesn't work, then tra change that to an, an O, or maybe that one to a 1. But I think it's right, but I, I you know. Who knows? Uh, let me know if you uh, let me know if you get the code, if you are a code winner. Uh, I need to get rid of the one that was underneath. There you go. Let me know if you got it on the Wii U. I'll be very good uh, to let me know. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll probably pick it up eventually since it comes out next month on the 360. It'll probably be uh, it'll probably too close to GTA 5 for me. Though. I pre-ordered it yesterday for the PC, says... Eric9000. Uh, paid about €9. Euros. That's not too bad. Um, do do bossing duck stars is Aaron Taylor. TT100. Never played the original version of DuckTales, but this looks good. I might get it. Uh, Cockney Charmer. It is what it is, but overpriced at a tenner, really, for what it is. But for the nostalgia, I'm in for Xbox Live Arcade. Yeah, it's worth it. It is a bit overpriced, I agree with that. But there is a, a certain amount of nostalgia. And I, I, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for nostalgia. I'll probably pay more stuff for nostalgia. Let's, uh, okay, let's have a look at some proper TV show art. Yay, look at that. Proper cell animation stuff. So cool. I'm a big fan of old school animation. Fenton! That's the cool nephews. Wow, these are really expensive ones as well. 750k. 
Huey, Dewey, and Louie there. That's pretty cool. Just got back from work. How's the game? Any good? I like it. It's very good. It got 6 out of 10 in the official Eurogamer review. Uh, you can read that if you go to Eurogamer.net right now. Um, unless you're trying to get this code uh, on your Wii U. Uh, anyone managed to unlock it yet? Let me know in the comments. And uh, then we can all be jealous of you if you've won it. Because you'll have got it. Um, You'll have got it like a couple of days before it actually comes out, a couple of days before anyone else gets it, which is cool. Raz says yes, Raz got it. Ha 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 yes, says Raz UK. Did I get all the did I get all the letters and numbers right? So Raz UK has got it. Well done, Raz UK. You got the code for the Wii U and the game a couple of a uh, couple of days before it comes out on the Wii U. Very cool indeed. So that's uh, uh that's awesome. Well done to all the winners of the codes. Um, hope you hope you enjoy the game. Uh, it, to be fair, it's a free game. You can't you can't knock a free game, can you? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I think that's it. Yep. So, yeah, that's it from me. I'm going to uh, end the live stream now. Thank you very much, everybody, for uh, watching. Uh, commiserations to people who didn't win the codes, and congratulations to those who did win the codes. Um, yeah, I, I really like DuckTales, the game. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm an old, I'm an old, old bugger. Yeah, you know. I, I played this game originally. It was, it was pretty cool. Thank goodness those aren't DLCs as uh, XXXRB. Lol, seeing those old shots of the shows makes me want to say, back in my day, people hand drew animation. I know, it's cool, isn't it? Um, old hand drawn animation's the best. <coughs> Why does the Steam not work here in Germany? The stream not work here in Germany? I don't know. I don't know, Daily Eurek 85. I have no idea. Uh, Huey, Dewey and Louie cracked me up when they appeared in Kingdom Hearts in the shops, Gavin Rollins. Um, okay, so anyway, thank you very much to everyone who watched. Uh, X -X 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 -R -B, Donald Royce Jr., uh, Gavin Rollins, Iceman Garage, King Mario 1 to 8, Oraz UK, Craig Green, Aaron Taylor, Cockney Charmer, Gary DeCarma, Tom T101, uh, Guru of Grunge, Eric 9000, 20 Crovax, Fuzzage 1, Menno VU. Uh, who else? Uh, Yahai Zarara, Stephen Scodes, Richard G two three four, Keith twenty eight hundred, uh, Donald Rose Jones, uh, Connor twenty thousand W, and everyone else who's watched and whose names I've missed off. Thank you very much for watching. Please do follow me and Eurogamer on Twitter for updates on all of our live streams. We do live streams all the time and uh, often have little giveaways and competitions just like this one. So uh, the more you watch, the more chance there is that you'll win a free game, basically. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thank you very much. Please do subscribe if you're a newbie and I'll see you again very soon. Um, tomorrow I think I'm going to be live streaming the new Dishonored DLC and uh, last time I played Dishonored I was really bad because I hadn't played it for ages so I need to get practicing. See you later uh, goodbye <laughs>